flight model. That's it for today's tutorial. We'll discuss more tips on real aircraft design in the upcoming procedural series. So, Hello, hello everyone, it's Jongsh. Kerbal Space Program, an amazing sandbox game. Like many others, this game brings great joy by allowing you to design and fly your own aircraft. And the various experiences. Wow, look at this immersive aerial battle. Can we reclaim that? Of course, the FBS always hits rock bottom. Ahem. Some players use mods to enhance these experiences. These mods have continued to offer diverse experiences to players even after a long time. Many people have asked how to use the procedural mods after seeing the crafts and explosions featured in my videos. So today, following our review of FAR last time, I'll share some tips on the procedural series and review the Atmosphere Autopilot. First, let's briefly introduce the procedural series. Ah, uh, of course. I'm too lazy to remake the video, so I'll let my past self explain instead. Procedural wings offer a new experience while destroying your stock wing clipping career and making you obsessively react to seamless connections between all wing parts, turning you into a perfectionist with OCD. Oh, of course, there's procedural parts too. Who wouldn't love offset capable full custom liquid fuel tanks, right? Hmm, you must have watched it well. As mentioned in the video, providing more diverse designs offers new torch, I mean, new opportunities. So, shall we begin? Let's start with the procedural wing. The procedural wing consists of these four parts. Procedural wing is the most common wing part with a fixed shape. Procedural control surface is an attached control surface on the trailing or leading edge to steer the wing. All moving procedural control surface is similar to the procedural wing but differs in that the entire surface moves. And lastly, procedural structural panel, which does not perform lift calculations and is used for structures. Now let's use these parts. Let's go through the process by building an aircraft. First, let's bring in everything except the wings. Now, install the procedural wing on the side, right-click the part, and these windows will pop up. These are actually features of other mods. In order, they are FAR, BDOMERY, TURD, and configurable containers. The function we're really looking for starts when you place the cursor on the wing and press J. Wow, so much information appeared, but don't worry. First, the window on the left shows information about the currently selected wing. You can create the shape of the wing by manipulating these various handles. The green handle adjusts the overall shape of the wing. The yellow handle adjusts the width of the base. The blue handle adjusts the width of the edge. You can also freely drag the wing by pressing G while the cursor is on the wing. Although you can shape the wing with just the handles, let's look at the left window for more detailed shaping. You can change the shape of the leading edge and trailing edge with options for round, biconvex, triangular, and no edge. These edge shapes have a significant impact in FAR, so it's good to arrange them according to the characteristics of each aircraft. You can enter exact numbers for length and width here to create a precise wing. Instead of sliders, you can directly input numbers using the sharp icon. And you can set the thickness, the most important option, adjusting the thickness of the root and tip to create a gradually thinner wing. In the preference option above, you can set the angle of the wing using the use angles to define the wing option. This feature is very useful when creating actual replicas, so make good use of it. The remaining two functions can be used according to your preference. Now, shall we attach the control surface? For the control surface, you attach it to the edge. The window is almost the same, but the handles are a bit different. The green handle sets the shape of the control surface. The yellow handle adjusts the width of the control surface. The blue handle adjusts the length of the edge. If attaching it to a wing with a thickness between 0.140 and 0.80, adjust the thickness, match the length using the yellow handle, and shape it with the green handle. Simple, right? For detailed settings of the control surface, especially related to FAR, refer to the video in the top right corner. Lastly, let's use the all-moving control surface. The horizontal stabilizer of the F-35 uses this structure. This control surface has a green cylinder, 
This cylinder is the rotation axis, and the wing rotates along this axis. Hmm, but with one wing, it's impossible to make the same shape as the F-35. And even if you attach it sideways, it won't move the same way. What should we do? Let me share a small trick. First, copy the wing by alt-clicking it. Then, attach it next to the original wing. Using the Move tool, overlap the new wing with the existing wing. Press J to align the green cylinders of the wings. Once the wings are aligned, move or rotate the wing to make it parallel to the axis. For the F-35, I'll rotate it since it's inside. Press J to edit the wing. Make sure the green cylinders share the same axis. Ta-da! This way, you can create wings larger than rectangles. Using this trick, you can create polygonal wings like those on the F-22 or F-18. Shall we fly now? Hmm, it flies well. Oh right, the procedural structural panel functions similarly to the procedural wing, so just use it for construction. So, should wings only be used as wings? Here we have an F-15, where the air intakes, fuselage, and details are all designed by utilizing wings. Additionally, the canopy of the ejection seat is designed by attaching triangles together. Just like this, the procedural wing mod is a fight with creativity. The ability to freely shape them opens up the possibility to create anything you can imagine. Let's move on to the next parts. Procedural parts offer various variations. Procedural fairing, procedural battery, procedural nose, procedural heat shield, procedural SRB. It essentially provides customization for most parts. I'll review the procedural liquid tank and procedural nose, which are frequently used in flight. The procedural liquid tank offers various shapes to choose from. Among them, I use the smooth cone. You can set the diameters of the front and back, adjust the length of the part, and change the offset. You can also match the curve to a preset or customize it. After all these calculations, it automatically calculates the fuel. If you don't need fuel, use the procedural structural element part. Anyway, once you've made the body using these parts, you can make the end part with the procedural nose. Similarly, you can adjust the diameter, length, offset, and curve. Wow, the brief explanation is over. It's hard to review all parts in the video. So for more detailed explanations or questions, join my Discord server for various information. Before moving on to Atmosphere Autopilot, let's briefly introduce the mods mentioned earlier. Skipping far, Turd is a texture unlimited based mod that allows painting parts. Using RGB masks, you can paint parts in detail, creating higher quality works. And it has compatibility with various mods through patches. I also make patches and distribute them on the Discord server now. Configurable containers let you control the resources inside parts. You can load fuel, batteries, gas, and various resources as needed. Use this mod to fill the wings of civil aircraft with fuel. Fill them appropriately. Now let's introduce Atmosphere Autopilot. KSP's SAS has a hard time controlling aircraft with high angles of attack. To replace it, we will use Atmosphere Autopilot. Atmosphere Autopilot offers a fly-by-wire system. It doesn't exactly replicate the real thing, but significantly improves overall control. It is compatible with FAR, making it effective for managing unstable aircraft. Press P to activate it, and press O to toggle moderation on and off. You can think of it as an AOA limiter. For detailed settings, press Shift P to open this window. Click on Craft setting to open another window. In order, you can adjust AOA, gravity, side slip, and side gravity. Gravity moderation allows you to adjust the gravity applied to the aircraft, and the role of the AOA limiter can be set through AOA. Below, you can set the strength of inputs in each direction through the rate limit options. You can also create and manage profiles for these settings. These craft settings are saved according to the name of the craft. Therefore, if the name changes, you need to reapply or load the saved profile to use it. Atmosphere Autopilot has a few other features as well. Mouse Director Controller allows you to fly in the direction the camera is looking.
cruise flight controller lets you set a course, altitude, and speed for waypoint cruising. I often use this for gap missions in career mode. AOA hold controller maintains the desired AOA and pitch. For detail settings, you can dive into each setting, but the above features are sufficient so only use the detailed settings if needed. Today we covered the procedural series, Atmosphere Autopilot, and a few other mods. I'll be back with episode 2 of the new mods review next time. So, please, leave a subscribe and a like. See you again.